Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on chess.com and I just got paired up playing a 5-0 game. So let's see. Uh, let's try Sicilian. Playing against DM JJMD. So let's see what we get. I was tempted to play E5, but that may be, uh, Allowing, we may go into a Roy Lopez. Let's not, uh, let's not play any Roy Lopez for a while, huh? After the World Championship, we've seen enough of it. So, I'm just preserving the C7 square for my queen. It's a very beginnerish looking at first glance to make just pawn moves and a queen move so early. But I don't think there's any issue with declaring the queen straight away. Made these prep moves already, e6 and a6, to stop any knight jumps. It may even shoot for b5 right now. I have to be a little bit careful. Let me get one more move in with my king's side. I'm, uh, I think uh, if I go b5, there might be a, a rookie 1 and knight d5 sacrifice, so I want to bring it to a point where I'm just one move away from castles. So let's get b6 in. I can't get b5 in. And I don't want to allow e5, so let's play d6. I'm going with a small pawn center. I, th I don't think there's anything wrong with immediately committing my bishop right now. So let's do it. Sometimes there could be a concern with uh, some pressure against e6 if the bishop was on this diagonal to play bishop here. So clearly there's uh, this f5 move lined up. Let's play knight here. And let's see how I react here to this uh, idea of e5. Hmm. I should probably castle. Yeah, let's do it. And I guess this is going to get in. Okay, so they're really going up after me here. Is this an opportunity for queen c6? I wonder. Hmm. I think queen c6 and bishop e3, knight g4. I don't think that that's really working out. Huh. All right, I, think, I feel like I need to take some uh, precautions against my king's side. Not a big fan of doing this, but uh, I'm going to sneak that one in there. That's a very weakening move. really want to watch over the f5 square. And I think I want to now play pawn up to e5. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. E5. Something other than E5. Well, this move isn't a threat just yet. I could consider Knight C5. Yeah, let's go Knight C5. This Rook is in a pin. Also, the both King and Rook are in the line of fire. Same diagonal as my Bishop. Really chewed up a lot of time there. Okay, so maybe this was unnecessary. I should have played knight to c5 in, rook, in reply to rook f3. Only one pawn exchanged. A rich middle game. I could still consider e5. Alright, well let's go straight in for this. Let's get one more piece playing. This knight is unprotected. Don't know that I could take advantage of that. This bishop has a responsibility. Well, I think I might want to play e5 soon. If rook g3, if I go e5, there's knight f5. So on rook g3, I think king h8. That's interesting. Let's just scoot right on by. I don't want to give the b5 square up to any piece. Gives up c5, that move. I feel like I should just do this. Anticipating. Okay. 
Well, maybe I don't want to do that straight away. But queen c5. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Queen c5. Let's give it a shot. Try to cause some problems with my queen here. Okay. And how about queen here? I'm on the knight now. 134. About a minute advantage. I got two bishops. At any moment this knight could be challenged. Knight g5? Hmm. Knight g5 could be a bit annoying. Okay. I feel like I want to get my king here. This rook is opposite my queen. And maybe now h6. Yeah, let's get him out of there. Any sacrifices against h6? I don't think that that's really working. I could do a push. I'd have to move my queen. She does have a square. I could pick up this pawn, but I'm not really a fan of going pawn hunting right around this point. I could also consider h5. Yeah, you know what? I think I might want to camp out on g5. So, I guess they're not going to? Ooh. Alright, so I guess the idea is f5. My king's going to have to book. <laughs> uh... All right, let's let's stay calm here. Let's take with the rook, and on this, I'm gonna play g5. I'm gonna grab that pawn. I know, I know. Oh, you know what? This knight's gonna kill me. I did not appreciate the knight coming into f5. This knight's gonna kill me. All right, first off, my queen is under fire. You know what? I'm taking that rook. Yep. I'm going to try and take advantage of the light squares. I, I, I felt knight coming in at f5 would have killed me, so what's the body count here? I have a rook and a minor piece and maybe a safer king. 55 seconds left. I'm threatening a double check. Winning the house. Let's take one rook off. And where are the killer shots here? Mm, let's start with this. King to e1. Yes. Um. Okay. Hmm. Should I just anchor my knight in there? I'm going to try for that. I'm shutting down this diagonal. Bishop c8 and I want to scoop up this pawn. What a weird imbalance. Hmm. All right, I'm going to take 19 seconds. I have a bishop check. Maybe both my bishops can enter. Got some loose pieces. Okay, 16 seconds isn't a lot either. I'll scoot up. Hmm. Let's give this check. Ten seconds. Threatening a check and then picking up the bishop. Wow. Eight seconds. Not a lot of time. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to get mated. Oh, I had my bishop as well. And yeah, now it's falling. Oof. think I had something there with that uh, imbalance. Yeah, it was a very tough middle game. Uh, I think that, before I look at it with the computer, I think that uh, uh, if, if they went in for knight to f5, 
this point right here, I think I'm completely busted right here. If they go knight to f5, or knight e3 looking at the f5 square, I think I'm going to get killed. Don't know that I have anything here. Hmm. Yeah, knight to f5. That's a dagger and a half. There's definitely some compensation there. Because uh, one way to look at it is my bishop is just uh, biting on a rock. The e4 pawn. And I wonder what I missed if uh, this going in for this tactic. Hmm. All right, let's 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 have a look at it with the engine. Just give me a second here. Okay, here we go. I have the analysis running. And let's see what I could have done different in the middle game. Because this was a game where I, I felt like it, uh, uh, well, got to a point where I didn't, I, I just didn't know what to do. I had uh, all my pieces out and then it's really lacking a plan. Felt like it was easier for white to play with uh, pushing some pawns on the king side. Hmm. I mean, I had the two bishops, but is that really enough? So, let's see. I don't think there's any serious issue with this initial stage. Yeah. So, right around here. Knight there is fine. Queen c5. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, it points out queen c5, bishop here, and then queen back to c7. No, we're not going to do that. So I castled, and now, yeah, this is something I want to test out. What would I do on e5? Take first, and then, okay, okay, then I could think about bishop to c5 ideas. That's what the computer's suggesting here, but, yeah, as we could see, it's a very sharp position. All pieces on board. Oh, I didn't mean to go all the way back. Okay, well, I just wanted, and that's my, uh, that's what I usually like to do. Cover the what-ifs. This is something that had my, con uh, I was concerned about e5, my opponent didn't play it, so I wanted to have a little peek at it, so bishop c5 is an idea. Rook f3. I should have, um, I should have really said to myself, this isn't uh, so much a bother anymore when rook f3 was played. It wants to go with queen c5. This is what I wanted to do. But I thought after queen c5, bishop to e3. What am I doing there? Oh, queen to b4. Mmm. Very computer-like. <laughs> queen b4. Hitting b2. Keeping pressure on the knight. And now knight to g4 is an idea. Kicking the bishop away from defending the knight. How could I have seen this idea better? Hmm. Oh, you know what? On queen c5, bishop e3, maybe I should have registered this move here as a bit of a drawback for white, in the sense that it's masking both major pieces from seeing e5, from supporting e5. This is really the one move that Hmm. If there's one move in the position for white that will really increase the possibilities, if there's one pawn move for white that would really increase the possibilities for the white pieces, it would be e5. Has a new square for the knight, the bishop, f5, g6, h7, and if the e file is cracked open, both queen and rook, of course, brought to life. So... Yeah, queen c5, bishop e3, queen b2. It's also pointing at something that's unprotected. Okay. I really don't have to take it too much further there. This is uh, convincing enough for me. Uh, I guess she can rely upon the b4 square. If we have a look at it, how could she be challenged from b4? Hmm. I don't know. You know, I'm reminded of a game that I played, uh, a standard game, uh, not too long ago, where I was saying, 
when the move A4 is in, that I feel a little bit more confident about knowing where my queen knight belongs, because at some point the knight can make use of B4. Maybe I can also be saying that about a queen. The B4 square is a bit sensitive, any piece really, on B4. Okay, a rook would be clumsy, but a knight or even a queen, as we're seeing here, might take up a nice post now that A4 is in. Okay. Well, <laughs> what you're hearing right now is me basically trying to teach myself. So, yeah, just making these mental notes. Okay, I went with G6, which felt very funny to weaken both F6 and H6. But not bad, I guess, at the end of the day. Not best, but not bad. King there, and now knight c5 is fine. Yeah, such a sharp position, I really should have kicked it into a higher gear sooner. Yeah. Okay. a5 is a fine reply. Now it wants to go with f5. Doubled first. d5. I didn't like d5 because of e5, and I didn't have this jumping point. Hmm. Yeah, this, honestly, I didn't like this structural change. Well, I didn't see bishop c5. Uh, that's that's kind of scary. If I go here, it feels like there's some pawn sacrifice with f5. Or even g4. g4, f5. Hmm. Yeah, this feels a little bit iffy because my bishop, my light square bishop, and my knight are not playing. I better have something on the queen side fast, otherwise white is just a couple moves away and this is blasted open. If f5 is in and I'm not fast on the queen side, forget about it. Okay, I didn't consider d5. That's that's really a tough one to assess in a blitz game, that uh, transformation with the pawn structure. Unfortunately, this is a bit of a passing move. I wasn't quite sure what to do. King h8, rook h3. This is this is uh, a bit kind of going all in. For one, if I could somehow get to the back rank, you know, there's not this flight square anymore with the rook on h3. But uh, still roughly equal, as we're saying. Queen c5. Queen c5, and then knight there. I think it popped up h5 for a moment, but it's fine with queen a3. And now knight there, so I should have something here. It wants to just go pawn hunting. Oh, that's tough for me to do. <laughs> but why? What was the move I played? King g7. All right, let's consider those two moves. Grab a pawn, or king to g7. So this is another improvement I can make. Just, uh, what can I say about this? There's, I really can't say that my king is any safer on g7 than h8. I think what really triggered king g7 is getting off of the file of the rook. But, I mean, as we saw in the game, there are some, are these ideas connected with f5 and uh, the bishop being, a, being able to make use of h6, questioning my king position, so... In such a complicated position, I, I I don't think that I could really say one way or the other that the king is safer on h8 or g7. So maybe that was my that would be a cue for me to know. Pick up a pawn. Maybe even then, I could grab two pawns in the center, and white would still be a little bit off balance. I could trade queens, for example. Um, I don't know what is it suggesting here. F5, but. Uh, just to make a passing move to show something like this might be close to happening, you know, where I could get three pawns for the piece, and if I could get the queens off, that'd be nice. Okay. Well, I didn't go picking up a pawn, king g7, and now I'm worse. Knight g5, h6 is fine. Knight takes pawn. This isn't a correct sacrifice, but... I did consider king takes. Okay, tough to really say. 
Oh, it wants to play knight to g8 instead of pushing. Hmm. Okay, well, clearly I didn't find knight to g8. g5, and I think I'm in some trouble. Yeah. Doesn't like g5. The threat here was to play bishop takes h6. Knight g8. Could have done a better defensive job here. Okay. After g5, is it gone? I'm just curious, this last part about the sacrifice. Uh, it just wants to pick up on a4. Is there anything a queen takes, Rook, or is it... I'm just trying to be flashy here. No, it's not a correct sacrifice. What concerned me still was if on queen takes pawn knight here. Looking at the f5 square, but I could cover that. Bishop takes pawn. Hmm. Well, missed a lot of stuff in this one. Let's look at these final moves. Did I miss anything? Did I have anything in this serious, serious time pressure? Rook check. King e1. Back to his home square. And yeah, I mean, I didn't really want to do this, but... Yeah, I guess I don't have anything. Yeah. Oh, now I do. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a flat-out win now. What did I do? Bishop c8? Bishop b4 is a win. Oh, man. If bishop here I take, and they have to give up the queen. And the alternative, what the computer's pointing out, is knight here. But now knight takes, and then I'm winning a piece. I'm on the queen. So this was a win here with bishop to b4. But what can I do when there's no time? Tough to defend, tough to find wins, although that wasn't the most difficult move in the world. It's the most uh, forcing move at that point. Ah. Yeah, this is one where, uh, if you look at the graph of the game, it'll look like a heartbeat. A lot of ups and downs. Well, no, that's not a good analogy. <laughs> There'll be a lot of uh, spikes for both sides, let's say. Bishop b4. Yeah, it says there's some draw. But yeah. No, it's no good. Okay, well, we got a sharp game out of the Sicilian at least. I guess I have some draw here. Uh, tricky to defend, though. With bishop to e7 wants to go with at this point. Yeah, covering this, these entry points. Tough to coordinate. Too uh, too difficult, and now it's completely busted. Even had a mate in two here. Queen takes h6. And then queen g6 would have been a nice finish. But all the same, dropping the bishop and then the rook. And it'd be mate soon enough from there anyhow. Okay, well, what more to say? Sharp game out of a Sicilian. And, uh, yeah, I learned a thing or two from this one. I hope you did as well. And feel free to leave any feedback in the comments section below as usual. And I will catch you in the next video. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.